<laughs> hey everybody, 8-Bit Josh here and welcome to my first look overview of the Planet Zoo Arid Animal Pack DLC, which releases on June 20th. Yes, this is an animal pack, which uh, probably everybody knows by now. They kind of alternate between DLCs. You know, they do the, the animal pack and then the next one will be like the four animals with all the like building pieces and like a new theme and all that stuff. But yeah, this one, we have eight new animals. One of those being an exhibit animal as always, but I just thought it'd be fun, you know, lately, I like doing these like little mini zoos to kind of show off the uh, DLC packs. And I don't know why I thought it'd be fun to just do this like little circular zoo that's just kind of on a plateau in the middle of the desert. I don't know why I just thought that would be thought that would be fun. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump in and start looking at all of the animals. First, we have the dromedary camel, which I know has uh, been hugely requested by the community for a very long time. Uh, and all the rest of them are all sleeping in there. Oop. I do love uh, the camels though. Like they're just so like, they're just so like interesting. I love all the little noises that they make. They also have a uh, uh, Planet Zoo introduced a new uh, spitting mechanic, which uh, applies to, or I, I shouldn't say spitting mechanic, spitting behavior uh, that applies to uh, the camels, the, the Actrian camel that we've had uh, forever, the new dromedary, as well as llamas. They can all spit at the guests. And uh, it's it's actually, like it happens fairly fairly a lot um maybe it's because like just the way i built the habitat where the the guests get pretty close to the camels but pretty much anytime a camel walks to about like this area they just will spit at the guests and it's the funniest thing and the guests actually like will react to it and everything too i want to see if we can get you gonna, I don't think there's, oh, there's some guests. Oh, he's eyeballing, look at him. He's like, I'm gonna spit on you. Oh, he just ran away. Oh, cause it's feeding time. Oh, here we go. Are you gonna, are you gonna spit on him? You know you want to. Oh, that one just did. Oh, perfect. There it was right as they were taking their selfies. That's perfect. He's like selfie this. Yeah, the camels are a lot of fun, but then moving on, you have the Dama gazelles. These guys are always fun. I, I still, this is like probably my favorite thing in the game is when the animals hold the little the little grab ball thing like they just look so funny when they hold it around when they carry it around but yeah these are just like you know pretty much any other sort of deer gazelle type animal we have in the game but as always you know frontier does such an incredible job with the animal models i, I always love like the horns because like i just feel like you could reach out and like you could tell what the texture is going to be Always, always one of my favorite things. Here we have the African crested porcupine. These guys are super fun. They're just, they look super cuddly, uh, but they're not. <laughs> Last thing you want to do is get, you know, get, get stung. I don't know, stung? Is, I don't know if that's the right word. But yeah, you don't want to get hit by those. But I like how, like, the animation of their, like, needles, they kind of, like, move and such. Imagine, man, imagine being, like, that's your defense. Just have these crazy sharp needles. 
growing out of your body. It's wild. Yeah, they're just so cute. I had to improvise on this habitat a little bit just because they're so small. And the way that I uh, designed this zoo, I kind of made every area uh, equal size. Because there were, um, you know, there's eight total animals, but one is being the, uh, being the snake. So that goes in, I put that in the middle. That's a ha uh, exhibit. So the other areas, I just turned, I just made them like equal, but yeah, this one I had to make a little bit smaller for them. Just because they're so tiny. Speaking of tiny, we also have the sand cat, which I made this little indoor habitat for them. This is actually a repurposed, uh, I had made a koala habitat uh, back when the Australia pack came out. And I actually made this for the koalas, but I repurposed it for the sand cat. And these guys, these, they look just, they just look like house cats. <laughs> like, like, I just want one. Well, they, they have like very wide heads though. I, I, I'm not familiar with like sand cats IRL, so I don't know. Are their heads actually that wide? I guess it's maybe just like the, the tuft of their fur kind of growing around their head probably makes it look wider than it is but yeah these guys are super cute i love the little like armbands that they they have their striped tails as well and the guests seem to love them so you know bonus here we have the somali wild ass <laughs> look at this ass look at him but honestly there's they're so cute and adorable love all the little sounds they make. <laughs> They're just talking to each other, just having a little conversation. I love that. And then over here, we have the black rhino. I, I like the rhinoceroses a lot. We have uh, a few different varieties in the game now. We, with the... Uh, the African pack DLC, we got the, the white rhinos. Yeah, just the character models on the rhinos are, are definitely like one of my favorite in the whole game. Because they, they just like, they look like living dinosaurs. <laughs> but they're just so cool. I love... I love he's all like covered in dirt. He's gonna get himself washed off. See? Getting all clean. Here you go, buddy. Take a bath. And then here we have the addicts. Again, with the. They have super cool horns. And then the just like detail and texture on them is just. It's so good. Definitely. Definitely a fun addition to like any zoo uh, if you use these guys. And then last but definitely not least, we have our exhibit animal, which is the Desert Horned Viper. There we go. We got one. Got one right there chilling. And they, they are horned. <laughs> they have little horns on them. Look at him. Oh, look at his eyes moving. Yeah, another great, another great exhibit animal. Um, uh, you know, the last two, last few updates are the exhibit animals we got were kind of bigger and made use of the new walkthrough habitat. So, um, you know, it's nice to, nice to get more of the, the classic exhibit animals. But I hope that the next DLC does include at least one animal that makes use of the walkthrough habitat but yeah so there we go that is our look at the eight new animals in the arid animal pack coming out on june 20th of course with every dlc there's also a free update that goes along with it so if you don't buy the arid animal pack you still get the 
update for free. It's the 1.14 update. And I will say it's actually, it seems like the smallest update I think that we've gotten in the past than what we've gotten in the past. There's only a few new additions with the free update, uh, but they're all really, really good. One was the spitting behavior uh, that we already saw with the camels. That's part of the free update. Like I said, the, the two camel types as well as llamas have the new spitting behavior. There's also staff flexi color, which is highly, highly requested uh, from the community. And I'm glad we're finally getting it. Here we have a caretaker. And so now you just have down here at the bottom, you have your different color options. So I have two caretakers. I just decided to give them this like kind of all green and yellow jumpsuit see if I can find any more of the keepers or any more of the staff. You might have seen some of the keepers as we were going through eating the animals. Here's the other caretaker. Oh, here's our mechanic. So I gave, I gave our mechanic, where are you going? I gave our, stop trying to run away from me. I gave our mechanic an all blue outfit with the yellow gloves and the yellow belt. Oh, there's, there's one of our keepers. So there you go. I gave them the, the, uh, kind of standard, all, uh, khaki light brown colored outfit. You can change. You can go with their shirt color, pants, shoes, as well as their hat color. So, uh, you can give them a nice little variety. This also applies to, uh, shopkeepers or vendors. You can't really see as well, but just gave our uh, vendor here an all red outfit to just kind of match with the interior of the chief beef. And then probably my two favorite new additions, uh, which I think I feel like we're maybe intentionally geared towards content creators. Um, but that is the new scenic camera mode and cinematic route editor. So. To access those, you just go down here to your camera menu. You have two new options. You have the scenic mode and there's the route editor. So scenic mode is exactly uh, what it sounds like. When you select it, you get your little uh, selector tool here. Just pick a point. Um, we'll do like, I don't know, we'll do over here by the camera, by the camel. And the camera will automatically just start spinning gives you a nice cinematic uh, view of the spot that you chose to focus on, but you have some options. So you have your spin and you have spiral. It literally just spirals uh, and zooms out at the same time. It's kind of harder to see slower, but if you click your arrow here, you have different options. You can speed it up. So you can see with the spiral option, when it's going faster, it's easier to see how it zooms out. Uh, you can do different things like zoom um, as well. You can also just go click on your regular orbit. So if you want to reposition the camera, it'll still maintain the focus point that you selected, but you can kind of just give, you know, like you're controlling the camera normally. Then the other option is the cinematic route editor. As you can see, I already created one here. And at first look, it might seem sort of complicated, but honestly, it it's pretty dang easy. You know, you can have multiple routes. Um, you can add pretty much as many uh, keyframes as you want. This one, I have 10. Um, you can also make adjustments to individual keyframes. So it, it's actually, it's pretty flexible. Did you go more in depth in the cinematic route editor in a, another video I made that's on the channel right now. I'll put the link up to that in the top right hand corner. So if you'd like to know uh, more about how the cinematic route editor works, make sure to check out that video after you're done watching this one. But yeah, it's, it's really cool. We can even, uh, I'll just show you. So this is the, this is the route I made. You can do hide UI while playing. So when you hit play, it automatically removes the UI, but you can also bring it back uh, just by moving your mouse or you could hit G, which, you know, has always either 
shown or hidden the UI. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So that's the cinematic route editor. Again, all part of the uh, free 1.14 update. So yeah, if you uh, enjoyed this video, let me know down below and let me know which animals from the arid animal pack you're most looking forward to. If you're going to make use of the uh, route editors and scenic camera, let me know as well. So yeah, as always, thanks so much for watching. I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.